Last time I went to Kempton, just a couple of months ago, I bought some of these little clevis pins go through there. And they got an 8mm thread in this end. But what I bought them for was to make this. I made, I made this bit and these little thumb turns and then they just got wing nuts and X bolts through them so that you can move it about now these are threaded so you can loosen off the the actual bars so I can turn it in pretty much every position tighten them up and it stays where it is and I made obviously these little ends on the bars to go into the clevis pins and this little bit here which is a camera mount and this is for mounting over overhead on the lathe so I can mount the camera and film what goes on the lathe a bit better I made this end with a couple of screws in it so I can screw it to me bald behind me um, milling machine if I want to do any filming on that and these can come apart and make it shorter or longer and I've got another one if I want it really long it's also got an M6 thread in the bottom of that with a bit of threaded bar in it and that goes right through me shelf above the lathe with a wing nut on it to hold it above the lathe I'll go and stick it on there and show you what I mean so this is him in situ, he just bolted to the shelf there with a wing nut and then that can move about and I can alter it by undoing these wing nuts and the camera sits on there and it's over the top of the lathe so hopefully I'll get some better pictures of the lathe when it's in operation which it's going to be now making a little pulley a nice clean chuck all back on the lathe Uh, let's give this a go then <clears throat> see if this camera mount vibrates and makes it useless anyway
So that was my new camera mounting bracket twiddly about thing. And here's the slow speed grinder. So here it is. That's the wheel I just made, <clears throat> the little pulley wheel. Here's one I made earlier. And uh, they're all mounted up. A little bit of the lathe belting melted together on it. Weighs a ton. <clears throat> so that is him, all mounted up with the old switch plate off of the old um, sander that I used. And it's now spinning all nice and flat. So, let's give it a go. Oh, and incidentally, here's one for Ian, if you're watching. Great big daylight bulb filming light. Right, I'm just going to pop it around the other side of the bench and we'll give it a go. Right, so here's some tungsten lathe bits I've got that are too big for any of the uh, holders I've got, but I did make an holder for them. This one chipped on the end, so let's have a go on the grinder and see if it'll work it. Oh, well, there you go. Hopefully the camera can pick that up. You can see that it's taking it off. Obviously balls up all the geometry of it. But there you go. That's all sharp again. Ready to give a bit more service. So that's all it's good for. It's uh, just to put a final edge on anything. Particularly drill bits. I'm going to make another plate for the top. I'm going to put a mitre gauge on that so that I can get different angles on it and I may make it with a little slider in it. Don't know yet, but that's the end of the slow speed grinder and that has been the slowest thing I think I've ever made in my life. I quite like the look of him though. I was gonna make a box or something to put around it, but I actually quite like the look of it. Looks a bit steampunkish, looks a bit industrial. So I think I'll leave him as he is. So anyway, just before you go, I'm gonna show you what I bought myself for my 60th birthday. Got to travel into the other half of the workshop for this. <laughs> the 
Yeah. Look at that. That's a Creality CR10. 3D printer. More about that in another video, I think. If I ever get the hang of using it and using the uh, Fusion 360, which I use to design things on it. But, got to tell you, I'm thrilled to bits with it. I should probably do another video and explain that one a lot more in detail at another date. Thanks for watching. See you again. Bye for now.